Hey guys, my name is Michael Gennaro Cipriani, otherwise known as Mike Wheels. I've been a professional bodybuilder for the last five years and I've been training for 14 years and I've been going on my 20th show. To be honest with you, most of the time I live to, to keep sanity. Uh, yes, it's, it's part of what I do and it's my profession and I enjoy it, but I originally started doing it to get out of my negative lifestyle and, and to get into a positive one. Uh, I got into drugs early. I was hanging out with crowds that didn't really uh, have much potential. You know, he got into a bit of a bad crowd there for a while and um, it was causing issues. You know, it was disrupting uh, the flow that I had going as a single parent with three children, um, you know, older brother, younger sister. Um, there was just, uh, there were a lot of ups and downs. My relationship with my mom has always been very difficult. Uh, it's been complicated in the beginning. My mom was like a sergeant at home and she was extremely strict and my father who was alive at the time as well, even though my parents were divorced, between the two of them, um, they really they really laid it down. So Mike kind of went through some swings. I mean, before bodybuilding, he was, he was kind of, sometimes he wasn't, he was a bit moody and he'd, uh, he loved to pick on his little sister and fight with his older brother and, um, and you know, we got into some pretty heavy arguments. Uh, you know, at, at one point I uh, sent him with his father. I said, you know what, you're disrupting our flow here and uh, off you go. I ended up moving in with my father uh, because I was getting kicked out of my house frequently and uh, he was definitely extremely strict and I didn't really get the opportunity to do dumb things and get into trouble like my friends did. I feel like if they possibly had more of a positive influence in their life, they wouldn't have ended up down that path. Um, I was actually quite happy to learn that, uh, you know, that, that he was wanting to go to the gym. The lifestyle I was leading up until I started bodybuilding would 100% made me either dead on the streets or in jail, uh, based on the friends I was hanging out with and just the road I was going down. And it was causing friction uh, with me as his mom, uh, single mom at the time, and, uh, you know, he was not getting along with his siblings. and. So I said to myself, okay, this is great. He's, uh, he's focusing on something now and, and something positive. He was starting to eat very healthy and uh, it, was, it was good. I was very happy about it. My dad was supportive of training, but to be honest with you, he never really looked at it like it was actually a real job. For him, a real job usually entailed something construction-based and that's because the way he was raised and the generation he was raised in. Honestly, my, my dad just wanted me to make money. Like he wanted me to be happy, but the way he knew to make money was like awesome. go into a fucking trade, yeah. get your hard hat, and then climb your way up from there. Uh, I think I was a bit more accepting of it once I realized that it wasn't just a stage that Michael was going through, that he was taking this very seriously, and he was very, uh, very focused, and just, it was his, Passion. That's all he wanted to do. But over the years, they my mom became more understanding because she saw that I poured my blood and heart and soul into this. And then, like when I turned pro, she was really on board because she saw that, you know what, this kid is going to die with or without my support. Uh, one of the most proud moments I think that stands out in my mind all the time is uh, when he became Mr. Ontario. This was. Uh, I just thought I was going to burst out of my body. I don't. I was just screaming so loud, and it was so the whole family was there, and uh, and a whole group of friends. We have this great, you know, group photo, and his trainer was here from LA, and uh, uh, actually, my husband and I, when he first said, "Oh, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm going to, I'm going to become a pro," we just kind of looked at each other and said, oh, "Okay, Michael," you know, and what do you know? A few short years after that, he got his pro card, and and that's when I realized that this was going to be his life. Uh, Mike's career today, um, it's, it's, it's great. It's, I mean, it's, it's, he's proven himself. It's what he's going to do. Um, but, um, you know, my worry about his health, and he's had many health issues recently. Four years after I turned pro in 2019, I had my shoulder and bicep operated on. I busted my shoulder, they had to remove my bicep tendon and restitch my labrum and it's bone on bone in the back. Several months later in 2020, I was diagnosed with cardiomyopathy, which is a severe heart disease. Um, 
about eight months later, I had to have elbow surgery done. So during that period, uh, with all these health challenges and surgeries, Michael started spending a lot of time at our house. We were uh, playing uh, nurse. <laughs> and um, yeah, so we were nursing him back to health. And you know, just uh, it was an ongoing concern as I was, you know, very concerned about his emotional state because he just, I could see him losing weight and losing weight. And uh, cause he wasn't able to, you know, eat the way he usually ate and he wasn't training and the recovery periods were quite long for the surgeries that he had and, and it was just like, you know, how's he ever going to, you know, get back up there. But I, you know, I, he didn't know that, that that's what I was feeling. You know, I would just always encourage him and, and, um, but you know, the one thing I don't worry about Mike is his drive. His drive and focus are next to none. It's just unbelievable how driven and focused and disciplined he is with his diet and his training. And uh, we just keep encouraging him that he's, he's, you know, his comeback is gonna be bigger than ever. My one and only goal for 2021 is to step back on stage. I got one thing on my mind and that's being the best pro I could be. I want to share this journey with you from here on forward, no matter how deep of the valley or how high the mountain. I want you guys to know anything you put your heart and mind into, you could do. Please make sure you guys like it and subscribe.